What's up everybody? Welcome back to Off the Shelves. This is a little bit of a late episode, but there was a couple of Blu-rays that I had coming in the mail and this is a very short episode compared to some of my others, so I wanted to make sure I padded it as much as possible. And we are here to talk about the Blu-rays that I've gotten over the past month or so. Uh, if you guys have never seen Off the Shelves before, I basically just show you what I've got and I give you my mini reviews for each. Some of these I've already reviewed, some of these I have not had a chance to, so it just gives me another chance to kind of talk about films that I have not gotten a chance to do a full video for. So it's always kind of fun for me. Uh, and like I said, we got about nine titles here today, so not a big one, but some pretty cool stuff nonetheless. Starting off with the box set that I got this month, which is the Batman four film collection, which is just the uh, the Tim Burton films and the two Schumacher films and like a 4K steel book. And uh, I wasn't gonna get this at first because I'm not the biggest fan of these four movies, to be honest, even the Tim Burton ones. Um, the, obviously as a kid, I like them, but as an adult, they haven't really aged so well, obviously, especially the Schumacher ones. But uh, I am gonna be doing a Batman review series at some point whenever the new one comes out and uh, it doesn't hurt for collector reasons, because I'm a whore, to go ahead and get this kind of box set because it was on sale. So uh, yeah, interesting little story on how I got this. So Best Buy is doing this curbside pickup thing now because of this pandemic to where you do online orders or I'm sure you could probably even pull up and just say, hey, go get me this and they'll check you out. But uh, you buy something online, they pull it and then it gives you specific instructions at the bottom saying, hey, when you get to the store, pull into a numbered parking spot, type the number in, say that you're here on the, uh, the website or the app and we'll bring your stuff out to you. So I pull up to Best Buy, I see a line of people that are just on the curb where the entrance of the store is and I'm like, ha! These dumbasses didn't read the directions and a couple of them were already kind of getting sent to the parking spot. So I was like, all right, I'm just gonna go ahead and just drive into a spot, opened up my little email, put my number in for my spot, I'm here. And I sat and waited for a good 15 minutes while people were coming out and helping just every other vehicle but me. I'm like, what the fuck? They said that they pulled my stuff. Finally, somebody came over like, hey, have you been helped? I said, uh, no, I said, I'm just waiting on my order. He goes, oh, you, you put it in online and you're just waiting for it? Okay, cool, and walks away. And I'm like, no, I didn't, fuck. And he's walking around, I'm like, Zzz. hey. Comes back over. I'm like, my order's already been fulfilled. I'm just waiting for it to be brought out. And he's like, oh, okay, well, you do that at the front. You just pull in behind that line of 12 people and you know, they do it up at the curb there. It's not what your fucking email said. So nonetheless, I had to wait for like 35 minutes <laughs> for them to bring out this. And the first Blu-ray title, this, VFW. I did do a full review for this. Uh, this is a very cool throwback, uh, kind of John Carpenter style film where you get these guys that are military veterans and some drugged out mutants are trying to get inside of this, this bar and they basically, it's like a siege movie. They're trying to protect this girl who has stolen drugs from these drugged out mutants. Uh, very cool movie, highly recommend it. If you want my full thought, check out my review, but this is absolutely a go out and buy it. And I don't have a rating for the Batman films because I haven't seen them in so fucking long. Moving on from that is one that I actually just rewatched uh, this weekend, which is a movie that I kind of I'm ashamed that I forget about sometimes, uh, and that is The Mask of Zorro. This is a really badass movie. Uh, you know, it's got it's directed by Martin Campbell, who did two of the best, if not the two best, uh, James Bond films and a couple other really cool films. But this is an old, like, kind of an action swashbuckling movie. Um, Antonio Banderas and Anthony Hopkins playing the two generations of Zorro. Uh, just a very cool action-packed movie that still holds up really well. And uh, I haven't seen The Legend of Zorro in a long time, but I remember that one being a big disappointment, even though it's by Martin Campbell as well. But I'll have to revisit that. But this 4K looked great, and the movie's awesome. So check this out. This is Go Out and Buy It. Don't have a rating for this one, because I only saw it once, and I was so put off by what I saw. But uh, it was a Scream Factory release that looked cool, and I'm sure it would be a nice review that a lot of you guys would appreciate that I do. And that is Pet Cemetery. Too. So this one is very strange as a sequel. Um, I remember I never wanted to give it a chance because my dad always told me that he hated it and it was a stupid ass movie and I, growing up I pretty much trusted his opinion because it was pretty close to mine. A lot of people in a horror group I used to be in were just raving about this. I remember I put it on Amazon one day, like it was on Amazon Prime or one of the channels I was subscribed to and it was just the whole movie I was like, what? <laughs> but uh, I will do a review for this before long. 
uh, have not got a chance to see this yet, but I have been told by my buddy Woody Bowen that this is right up my alley. He said that Guns Akimbo was a lot of fun. Uh, the trailer certainly had me interested. I know there was some drama involved with the director or something like that, but the concept seems pretty cool, uh, and it's got Samara weaving in it. So right there, just go out and buy it, right? Probably my biggest surprise of the year so far, not that we've had a whole lot of movies to choose from, but uh, The Gentleman. I'm not really a Guy Ritchie fan. Now, granted, I haven't seen a lot of his films. His style is not really a movie that I gravitate towards, if you know what I mean. It's not really my type of gangster film. And I went to go see this one day on like a double feature with something else just because I had the whole day to myself and I just wanted to check out some movies. And I had a blast with this one. It takes about 45 minutes for it to really get going. Not that the first 45 minutes is boring, but you don't really know where the plot is going. Like, where is all the, what's this leading to? And then as soon as it starts to make sense, the movie just kicks ass. So I actually had a blast with this one. Uh, didn't get a chance to review it because I, I saw it weeks after it came out, but this would have been getting to go out and buy it for me. Rudy, Rudy. Um, I was in the mood to watch Rudy, so I realized I didn't have it and bought it. Uh, this is a classic sports film. Uh, it's not necessarily one of my favorites, but it was one that uh, I had seen pieces of years ago. Uh, people always put it in like their list of favorite football films, favorite sports films. So I was like, you know, I need to finally just watch the whole thing start to finish. And I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, I would say go out and buy this one. It's not like a super enthusiastic because there's certainly th some things about this story that's not a typical sports film. It's much more just about a character's growth. Um, but I did enjoy it. So go out and buy Rudy. What will inevitably be winning the Oscar for Best Picture of 2020? Bad Boys for Life. God damn, I love this movie. I did not realize or expect how much I was going to love this movie because I expected so much to go wrong, but I just have a blast with it. I've already rewatched it, so I've seen it three times now. Um, I do think that it is the best Bad Boys film. Keep your eyes peeled, because if you've not already seen the announcement, we are going to be including Bad Boys and like five or six other action franchises in a 31 on 31 summer edition, which is coming at the end of this month, uh, all action films. So check the last couple of videos, the off top stream big announcement and the uh, little trailer that I put out for all the details on that. But this movie was just awesome. It has the most story and the most heart of any of the Bad Boys movies. Uh, Martin Lawrence, you could tell he's kind of out of it a little bit, but he still jumps right back into the shoes and acts pretty well, handles the action pretty well. The chemistry just firing right, like, right off the top. Um, so this one is go out and buy it for me. I had a blast with this one. And last but not least, I have yet to revisit this, so I'm still going to stick with uh, saying to stream it, but uh, that could go up or down quite a bit very easily. Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. This movie is complicated as hell, <laughs> as far as my feelings about it and as far as the conversations that you can have about it, but uh, I needed to own it. Uh, I did enjoy it in theaters enough, although a lot of it was just kind of confusing. It was just like, why are we doing this now? This is just a bunch of retconning. But nonetheless, watch my full review. But I did really like this cover. This was the Target edition. This looked the most like classic Star Wars to me, so I got this edition. Uh, it's got a lot of shit with it. Uh, it's got a whole box set, and it folds out to show all the different characters. So this was a very cool set. Um, I don't know when I'll be revisiting this movie because the whole sequel trilogy is kind of soured for me uh, with how they've handled it and or, or lack of the way that they've handled it. But nonetheless, I still had enough fun with it to give it a stream it. So that is it for this month's Off the Shelves, guys. Uh, obviously, these episodes are being a little bit smaller lately because of everything going on. Not as much coming out and not as much money going out. Uh, not as much need for me to go out and splurge on a bunch of Blu-rays right now. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I will see you next time in about a month or so, the beginning of June, beginning middle of June, depending on how many titles I have. But thank you for watching. As always, please like and share, hit that subscribe button, and remember, opinions are like assholes, but that doesn't mean that you have to be.